Hi everyone and welcome back to Rich Reviews. I'm Richard. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to National Ferrari Owners Day. As you can see we're in the Pride event so we've got the 458 Spider here that's been judged for the for the Pride events. Um, it's sort of like a show and shine concourse and we've got various other cars here. We've even got an F50 and an F40 here as well. Um, some very, very special cars. We'll take you around and show you some of the Ferraris that have turned up today. I believe there's gonna be um, around a thousand Ferraris here today, so it's gonna be a special event. So here we've got a 360 Modena. Now this is quite rare because it's got a manual gearbox. I believe it's only one in five cars that had a manual gearbox. The rest of them were flappy paddle auto, like the, the F1 sequential gearboxes. And this is like the, the definitive spec, Rosso Corsa with Crema interior. If you look at the interior, the, the interior looks absolutely stunning, but it's a nightmare to keep clean. We were talking to the owner today and he stated that he never ever wears blue jeans because it marks them. And he's very, very particular, of course. None of the family members ever get any drinks inside, inside the car, any spills, then you've got problems, you know, because it will, it will, it will ta tarnish the leather. So you've got to be very, very careful with Crema cars, but it looks absolutely stunning. And this is a Concours winner. Here we have a, a very rare car as well. I believe this is also a, a previous Concours winner, a Challenge Stradale 360. So 360 Challenge Stradale in, um, in the standard Stradale spec. Racing seats with the, with the tricolour stripe down the centre of the car. Rosso Corsa with the tricolour stripe. And uh, this one even has the carbon fibre, which I believe is a standard spec for this Challenge Stradale, has the carbon fibre wing mirrors as well. As you can see, um, beautiful, beautiful design on the carbon fibre wing mirrors. Very special car indeed. And here we have a, a, an F12 TDF in a beautiful metallic blue. It's not TDF blue, but I'm not quite sure what the color is, but look at the number plate. It's even uh, got, well, it's got a TDF number plate on there as well. Here we have an 812 GTS. Uh, we believe this is in TDF blue, and you can see it's actually got the hand-painted shields as well on the side. And uh, beautiful tan interior with, with blue horse stitching and blue side stitching as well, which uh, really complements the blue of the car, the TDF blue of the car. Next to the uh, TDF blue um, 812, we have a, uh, 488 Pista. Not quite sure what the colour is on this, but it's obviously a light metallic blue with the NARC stripe down the centre. And here we have a, a Rosso Corsa on, um, I think it's Crema interior, an F8 Rosso Corsa. Here we have a, an Enzo, Ferrari Enzo, Rosso Corsa with a beige interior. So quite a classic spec. Just, uh, just on the side, take a quick look at the actual dash on this, on this Enzo, look at the carbon. Remember, remember this Enzo was released many, many years ago. So the uh, standard of the carbon fibre is quite, quite impressive. Here, Rosso Corsa F50, needs no explanation, stunning car, built, on, um, built around the actual F1 race engine that was introduced into the car. And uh, these are very rare, very limited amount made and really going up in values now. Good ones of these are worth around two, two and a half million now.
So we're here at the, at the main Ferrari enclosure. So this is the main Ferrari parking area. As you can see, um, people have started to leave now, um, starting to close down. We're coming up to, we're about quarter to four, so coming up to four o'clock. The event does go on quite a long way into the evening. There's some sort of evening party events going on. They've had a, I believe it's a Silverstone auction that they've already run, so they've had quite a few cars that have been auctioned already. The, the Pride of Ownership, which is like a show and shine mini concourse event, um, has, has already been judged and they're going to provide the results in about um, half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. The word is that they're going to be giving the price to a car that's got quite a bit of mileage on it, that's got a bit of history behind it, so mine won't be in for it. But uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a good parking, if nothing else, it was a good place to park. The, the parking for the Pride, for the pride of um, Ownership was, um, was very good for the event. And this is, as I said, this is the normal main parking area. Um, you can see there's a very eclectic range of cars here. Um, most of them are actually um, around the modern side, although we have got some 360s as you can see, 430s, um, a lot of 488s. Um, there, was, there was all a, a variance, a variance range of cars here, as you'd expect for the Ferrari Owners Day, the, for the main Ferrari Owners Day, um, ranging from 308s, 328s, 355s, um, 360s, 458s, 4, 488s, F8s, TDFs. Um, F50s, F40s, 812s, F12s, etc. You know, all, all various different ranges of cars have been here today. So it's been a, a great event and one of the first events that's occurred since the opening of lockdown, really. Um, been really well managed and been very impressed by it. Um, the pride of ownership, for example, there was only about 20 cars in the pen, so I was really pleased because I thought it was going to be about 50. I thought it was going to be very cramped. I thought the parking where you're going to be blocked in, it wasn't going to be easy to get out, but no, far from it. It's very easy to get your car out. The, the parking's been very good, so very well organised. So we're going to end the video there. Um, that's, we've still got quite a lot to go for the, for the actual event. The Ferrari's Owners Day actually runs right through into the evening, a few evening events that are going on, few, uh, an evening party, etc. Um, we're going to finish filming here. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've in, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, then please think about subscribing. Looking to move towards 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so very keen to move that forward and hope you've really enjoyed the event and we're going to be bringing you more such events going forward. Um, keep subscribed for great new material to come. Thanks a lot for watching guys and take care.